Yesu wa be wa maye ye boni ti o man fere ni amini chefa wa de ma ba fie ta ka se aye re o yesu di aba fie tetele stai wa wie tetele stai god has finished god has done it tetele stai wa wie he has done it tetele stai wa wie god has finished o Ninkwa yankwa hu eh no refi o ninkwa eh no refi Jesus I be who am I yeah boy you ye it ah my friend i am in je fa o de ma ba fie asenua ne so na o ti am ka se on the cross Jesus shouted he has done it he is finished everything the job that he came to do on this earth no it is done preach preach asenua ne so na o ti am ka se ngwa hu ji ma no we wie ene tetele style ma wie me me nkwa hu adu and him no cry for me so Yes, you see, I'm a woman. 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 God has done it. He came here and died for our sins. But there are some people that chose violence. There are some people that they are saying that they want to be violent. They want to be. So as I'm talking to you right now, if you go to South Africa, Church of Pentecost. Preach, preach up. In South Africa, they got robbed by armed robbers. They came in with with a two say. Bro, it no be easy. God said that he's dying for our sins. He's dying for our sins. Some people are saying that no 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 no. We are continue to sin. Preach, preach we don't up. want anyone to die for us. So this is sad. It's about that time of the year where Church of Pentecost we do um giving. I mean we 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 are for the prayer, but you're kind of brother sense, right? You're bow for the other for sure. You're bow for the we give offering, yeah. We give offering to support. Sometimes we have natural uh, national projects that we put in place so that we can do it. Now, if you go to South Africa right now, they have got some project, national project that they are trying to do to help build the communities, to help you know, to help the communities in South Africa. So this pastor, Pastor Emmanuel Kwei, came online, not online, did a small video to talk about the business and talk about what they are going to help the community, and told and, and told the people that maybe this week coming or next Sunday coming, we are going to give offering to support this project, the national project that we are about to do. By the grace of God, the national project offering has dawned on us again this year. Through your support over the years, we have used the project offering to do many projects within the nation of South Africa. And this year, we want to also in invite you again to support us. Through the project offering, many projects have been initiated, completed in the nation. As the Bible says, the people in Macedonia gave freely, willingly. And Paul actually recounted that they were surprised. And we know that whoever gives receives from God. We cannot outgive folk outgive God. So I want to encourage you, want to admonish you that you come together again this year so that together we'll build the nation, together we'll build the church in Kopsa so that God will reign in his church. God richly bless you. We look forward to you joining us again on the 29th of October where we come to give rejoicing in the Lord. God bless you. For your giving and a group of arm robbers heard the news and i was like hmm tell her meat don't drop a juma ba ha i have been saying i had dead you know we have to go and also support them build the national project but we are going to build our own national project somewhere else i didn't ask the kakra to be honest i'm a church of pentecost eh, but as much as the sad you know as I'm so sorry, because uh, now some people, those um, non-believers, no, they are saying, say, why are we not? You should have said, um, oh, I'm kind of saying, like in Kiyankaste, eh, Kiyankaste, eh, you know, tons of new, I'm so nanka chese, I'm on titan shoes, I'm on your day, bro, nah, nah, nah. There are some people also saying, say, um, at this point, there should be securities. That one day, I agree because, hey. 
But it depends. Nobody in their rightful mind will be like, okay, let's go and rob this church. I mean, it happens because apparently church, you know, people believe that it is business. <laughs> it's business. So, I'm not trying to make offering. We cry not make offering because according to the Church of Pentecost, you know, we don't give offering after we give offering after preaching. And this time, you know, the pa- the pastor was preaching or the elder. So they were in the middle of preaching. The pastor, the training, I say, nah, no, we have no work can be be. And then he saw say the arm robbers are coming in. A whole and any pastor yima eda from boko anaja. This is where you have to use common sense because that's not the time a oko bomb paye after Holy Ghost. If you are going to be like, oh, I'm gonna pray for Holy Ghost to come down, bro, we will try wrong with because poor cry no, ya chini ba no, ya de la ay, ya de ay. Hey, you cry for anything. You didn't go to a lion den, you cry. Oh, and cry more if you need it, no. And yes, you only need to park on a mechanic. You didn't go to the taboo, no. So many the clothes you want. You be show, you be show. Preach, preach. And you know how now, Obaye, Obaye, can say, I command you to put the gun down in the name of Jesus, and I say, I command the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, to I descend on you. You know why you buckle, you cry too. That is why you have to use common sense. And you go out and say, Why am I on home by ya? Yeah, the common sense baby too. Say hano, I just saw a boy on home buying. Now the sika na mo be paying it. No way you sika you come out all the money from your pocket and then you give your phone. Send. Did you see the pianist? Preach, preach up. As soon as the pianist saw that the arm robbers have entered, ne one or the ne phone share ho. He hit the phone. Precautions, we are taking precautions. Ne one or or lay down. We busan abaka so ni phone. Pianist for they are smart. Nah, they are smart. You see that? Quick, 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 quick. Why when the pastor was preaching, he was laughing. They were, oh, it was fun until the arm robbers get in. So this is a sad news for the Church of Pentecost all over the UK, all over the world. I mean, all over the world. Yeah, so as I'm talking to you now, the embassy of Ghana in South Africa, I don't know if it is in South Africa or Ghana, has released a press like, oh, they are saying that they are going to be working with the South African police ministry to, you know, sort this thing out. But... One thing I don't really understand, I can see that the camera was standing, so I can't blame it. I was gonna say, was there someone holding the camera whilst the arm robbers were robbing them? Hmm? Whilst the arm robbers were robbing them, the camera, but I, I realized that the camera was standstill, so yeah, this is one of the saddest news we have heard so far. As I'm talking to you right now, the pastor or the elder has been kidnapped. That is why I don't really understand. Why are you kidnapping the elder? Why are you kidnapping the elder? You came for money, you have robbed them. You have collected all the money. Now, no muko kipu na ako collect ransom ana. So if you don't bring 2 million dollars, you are not releasing the person. Is that what you guys are trying to do? You came for money, you came for phones, you came for tablets, computers. You have got everything that you want. You still kidnap one of the elders. At this point, we have to, you know, pray for for this elder because we don't know what is going to happen next. This is really, really, really sad. This is really, really sad. As much as uh, uh, Haman for making fun of us, and they say, oh, they should have prayed for God to, you know, intervene. And I say, nah, 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 nah. Sometimes, common sense. That's what they did. We haven't heard any bad news. They just robbed them and they took their belongings. But apart from that, we haven't heard any other, you know, sad news. I don't know where the elder is right now. And I don't know if they are asking for money or anything like that. So, yeah, this is what is trending on Twitter and on social media platform right now. And they are saying that is this the reason why they are giving free visa to south africa because right now south africa is not safe preach, and i'm preach gonna up. say this i think it's about time that we have to add securities to our churches what preach, i know is up. you know those um charismatic church you know one man church and you know, they, they know they they have securities but when it comes to church of pentecost methodist romans you know those old 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 you know churches in there um, i mean the door is open. That's why we say the, the door is open. The church is open for you to come in every day. They will every day. Every day. Every day. God arms is open so you can come and relax in the arms of God. But people are coming with violence. You know what I'm talking about. So yeah. Now no, I think say I was sorry. I know you yeah, boy, home by you. Yes, you do two ash your house because bro, this is this is crazy and sad at the same time. So yeah, we have to be vigilant. What you say? We have to be vigilant and we pray that um, the, the elder or the pastor that has been kidnapped, no, we pray that God will give their family members, you know, calm heart and then bring him to save. You know what I'm talking about? Because this is crazy. The name has always been R6. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share. Peace. We are signing out.